What a constant press for us, man. What a constant press for us. Dude, this is going to be the longest year of FIFA ever, man. Every time. Like, I have not gone one day playing this game where I haven't lost to an absolute noob, bro. And I haven't wanted to just absolutely scream, bro. I've never played a FIFA this frustrating in my life. And the reason is, it, there's no logical sense to the game, bro. That's why. F*** all the 71 depth, all this shit. The stem of the game's issue is the finishing is garbage, bro. Like, you'll have shit like this going in. He's doing a 360 no-scope after he gets a lucky-ass nutmeg. Just pure RNG. He's doing a no-scope with Griezmann, and it gets auto-blocked. I'm actually manually moving here. I manually switched the vintage to block the lane. I move the keeper to the far post. And what happens? Like, that's what... Alright, that's what I concede, right? And then what I miss... We don't even have to go over it, right? This is what I miss, bro. This is what Tom Kalefi thinks is good in this game. I miss this shit. No keeper movement on the right foot. 90 finishing with the chem style. Right after a drag touch too, which is like god tier to score the ball in FIFA. Oh, man. This game makes no f***ing sense, bro. At all. Makes zero, man. Zero. And then Basha misses that one shot. Like, I'm like... Oh, I've seen it, bro. And this is what the skill gap is in the FIFA we play, bro. It's just who can, like, learn tactics. And you can say it's realistic because teams use tactics and all this shit. Whatever, man. That's not why I'm playing video games, bro. This guy player locks his player to the near post. To dummy. It's, like, this is the skill gap, man. This is it, bro. It's crazy. I don't know how to play this game without whining, man. I It's impossible, bro. They, like, they, bro, I don't understand, man. Like, I just, I don't understand this game, bro. No, but, like, I feel like I speak on the community. Like, it's impossible to actually just grind this game like a normal person. Like, it's impossible to just make a team and want to play this game. The only reason you play is just literally to get evos done or, like, rewards. It's actually so f brutal, man. So inconsistent, man. I like, oh, it's just crazy. I mean, the worst part, like, you could say two sides to it that, like, the other side of it is like, okay, at least it makes it worth it to, like, upgrade to. But, like, if I had Mbappe or, like, nah, dude, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna sit here and justify those two misses. They should be going in. You see what I do? Do you see what this game makes me do? This game makes me sit here for, like, 10 minutes after the game and try to, like, understand what has happened. Like, there's no such thing as just winning a game and going to the next game this year. Like, the stuff you see on your screen, bro. When you win, when you lose, you're just sitting there in disbelief, bro. You're like, what the f*** did I just experience? And you try to make it make sense, but it doesn't make any sense. I do this every day. And then I got people in the chat saying, learn the game, man. Like, bro, it... I hate the inconsistency, man. The finishing this f***ing year has been driving me crazy. That's why I was so good last year. Because when I got to a spot and I was open and I greened it, goal. Like, genuinely, I feel like the only consistent thing this year is just spamming that f byline, bro. That the halfway point between the six and a goalkeeper line and just doing a pass across. That's the only way to, like, every time secure a goal. I'm, I'm comparing it to last year. Like, last year I played skilled FC, right? And this guy would f cook me alive, bro. This guy had a 4-4-2. He was f flying, man. Leao, like... I'm just like, bro, this guy is better. Like, this guy cooks me. I'm like, oh, I, bro, the amount of losses I take this year and I'm sitting here like, this guy is a f bot. How did I just lose that? I, I didn't have this last year much, man. I mean, I have the occasional bullshit. That's FIFA. But like, bro, there's no such thing this year, man. It's like, you're just losing the bullshit, bro. I swear. Oh my God. Like, rivals for me this year, I'm in division two. It's a coin flip. It's actually such a coin flip every game. It just depends if you get the luck and the ball goes in. Never used to be that way. And it's just a shame, in my opinion, how overpowered tactics are in FIFA now, dude. I was saying this the other day with a chat, like, the difference between me getting rank 1 now and rank 3 is how many 5-backs I play and how many people on the weekends are studying their 24-7 religion of running to the byline. If I play normal humans that are sweaty and good and probably great players, don't play necessarily like that 24-7, I'll probably get a rank 1, rank 2. If I don't, I get rank three or 14 wins and I'm in a, and, I, and we're getting to way back territory. That's that's what it is, man. Like, and that's pathetic, bro. Like, I, I don't want to hear adapt based on that because it's actually bullshit, bro. How much tactics and like a certain one specific play style can carry you in this game. Oh my god. Shut up, man. Have you ever heard Ozio complaining? Brother, 
watch his gameplay. The reason there's no complaints on his end is he plays the 3-5-2, right? And he's got Mbappe, Jairzinho, all these guys. When you use that team, bro, this game is all smiles, brother. And you play five at the back, you're chilling, my guy. Go, go, go play right now and try that, bro. You got a lot of coins, go make a crazy team and go use five back tactics and spam the byline. You will have to probably you be smiling because you're so happy to win. For people like me, bro, for people like me, you know what I enjoy playing this game for? Football sense goals as much as we meme Inception. That's why I like playing this game. I like left stick dribbling. I like actually like not just look i'm not gonna say i don't do that i run to the byline because there's a certain point you have to in this game you literally f have to you have to play a certain way to get certain results this year this game's gonna make me crazy bro i don't know how the f i'm gonna play this shit bro i f hate this meta bro so much like i'm going crazy bro i just feel like every day i'm going crazy dude I'm going every day man i'm going crazy but it's, it's, it's not like, oh, it's just one day. Like, you know, that happens last year. One day, I get cooked by Capri Sun, like the Bulls, all these guys. I'm going 0-6 in rivals. All right, I have a bad day. I come back, play the next day. Bro, it's the same shit every day. If you ask people in the stream who've been watching for years, I've never complained so much in my entire life this year, bro. I go into one game, bro. The first half, I'm already bitching. The first half. And the worst part, this is why I hate EA, man. Guess what I did Sunday? I used the God tier team. I had no problems playing this game. It's just bullshit how pay to win it is. It's so bullshit, bro. It's gross. It's disgusting, man. I hate it. Yesterday, I played against Mia Hamm and Mbappe, and this guy was mid, bro. And he just runs and he's open. It's like a joke. They're killing RTGs, man. They're killing people who want to spend $200 or less every year on this game. They're killing you, man. Killing you. I'm telling you. It's so crazy, bro. What I've never seen it though like this, bro. I can't I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm sitting back in my chair like this, bro, chilling because I have Mbappe. And the guy Mbappe defends better than any f defenders in this game because he's worth 1,000 USD. It's just joke, man. Like imagine you don't have money. Like you can't just not everyone on this game could just drop money, bro, like that. It's jokes, man. And EA is so f dumb, bro, because this is why they're so f dumb. They f sold they should have bought the fifa license this game is dead this year bro you look at anyone's views outside of me and a couple other people and their views are in half because people don't care to play this dog shit ass game bro so they're f selling nobody knows what eafc is everyone knows what fifa is bro you guys got too cocky you should have bought the f license and you're selling and you're making a worse product bro you, you just make a worse product and you expect people to still f play the game it's just bullshit bro it's so bullshit and they make it every year they make it more pay to win play to win pay to win i've never seen so many shit players in my life getting carried by teams go back three years ago to fifa 20 and watch me use gold ben yetter against Cole r9 and pro players from colombia all those guys i'm cooking them bro because there's movement and ai that moves and runs and does shit bro they just scrap it all bro they made the best finishing last year in four years and they chopped it in a quarter bro it doesn't even work anymore i don't even know what they did anyone who played fifa 23 would tell you last year when you got to good angles you would score that's why we were able to play the game for 12 months but this shit is dead man dead it's actually pathetic and they're just fucking hiding behind these bullshit ass drops in their pro scene they think people like this shit it's ass man this game is ass bro i never lost to so many bad players in my life bro every day i'm losing to people that are nine wins bro because they're studying a new religion and they drop 2k on this game it's fucked, man. it's so annoying bro and i gotta have a tantrum every day about this shit man i i i can't bro i literally can't play a game and i feel like i've built a lot of patience playing fifa for six years considering all the bullshit that always goes on in this game a lot of patience, bro. You didn't even see me this way when, like, I'm sitting here and you got a loser Discord of snipers, pros trying to play me. I wasn't even acting like this. So that's what this game this year is doing to me. No one has ever seen me this way, bro. Ever. I've never lost my shit like this. But I hate it, man. I hate it so much to the core, this shit, bro. And it's just dumb, man. Like, EA makes this patch and now they think they got everything chilling, bro. Everything's all good. We made a patch to help you. You can't play through the middle. Watch what I just played, bro, for the whole morning. All anyone did was run down a the line. They didn't fix anything, man. Oh, my God. I'd rather write a 
D system play this shit, man. And I'm getting paid, bro. Imagine the people in here that don't get a dime from playing this game. And don't spend any money. What the f*** you think they're doing, bro? They f***ing 16 win players last year. They're f***ing scraping 11 wins coin flip every game, bro. Because they don't have a good team. It's bullshit, bro. It's actually bullshit, man. All this shit is bullshit, bro. I hate it, dude. I hate it, man. This shit has been building under my skin for like a month, bro. Of this anger I have towards this game. I have very deep anger towards this FIFA, bro. Very deep. Chat, I promise if you're watching, I'm not an angry person. I know you're going to say right now that I'm an angry person. I, this game just makes me so angry, bro. So angry. Oh, bro, it just makes me so angry. Like, I feel like I'm more than patient with this game. Like, as much as I love you, chat, I sit here conceding all these horrible goals. Not all, but like, bro, I sit here having to look at that Griezmann deflection and say cooked and all this shit, man. I'm, I'm fine. That's fine. But like, dude, oh my God. When I'd rather be doing uni projects than playing the gameplay on this game, that's a problem. I've never felt that way in my life about this game. That's a problem, bro. That's how I really feel, though. I'm serious. I'd rather write essays, man, than play... Because it's just like there's too many... Oh, bro, this... It's not unhealthy for me. You just gotta understand. I'm really pissed, man. I'm really pissed about a lot of things in this game, dude. Like, I'm seeing even half my community that has been watching me for so long don't even play this shit. It's horrible. That's why they don't play it. No, it's fine, bro. I understand. There's a level of, like... There's, bro, there's a level of, I understand. Bro, let me tell you something. Anyone in chat that doesn't like me or you, you, you think I'm like, whatever you think it is, man. I'm overconfident. I'm annoying. You don't like my voice. Here's the one thing you guys need to appreciate about me. I am speaking for you, bro. All right. I am. I have never done all with this company because they're incompetent shits, bro. They are. So that's what you got to get sorted. Even if you don't like me, I hate these guys as much as you you can act like you like them or whatever bro i hate these guys man because they don't know what they're doing so like that's what you gotta understand and i understand you watch me and you're like oh notoriously i'm known as a rat i gritty i do all this boys honestly i don't really do that shit unless my opponent is playing like a rat i don't really just sit here and be toxic seriously i personally don't feel that way maybe like on a on a day, if I get no sleep, I'll be toxic as shit. But aside from that, I, I'm not like that. So, like, I'm just reaching a, 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 I'm reaching a boiling point, bro. And this is what happens, man. I feel like the oven is, like, 400 degrees right now, bro. But, like, Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Like, that's how hot I'm feeling, bro. It just sucks, man. And I'm like, I'm a positive person, chat. I promise you, bro. Like, anyone in the chat, I've met some of my viewers, like, no, I'm just, I'm not, like... The shit this game does to me this year, bro, I don't even know where I'm finding this anger in my body, bro. I don't even know. But I get so angry, bro, playing this, man. I think it's a lot of things. I think the finishing is so bad. Like, I think these Timmies with nine wins and every other FIFA who get 16 now because they added Daddy Hulla and R9 to their team and I lose to them. And I'm, like, sitting here with Steve McNamara, whatever his name is. Like, I'm just going crazy. I'm going crazy, for real, man. But the thing that pisses me off, this is what pisses me off. Not everyone, bro. EA already charging you $100 this year, being the fucking sellouts they are. They raised the price of the game 30 bucks, right? Not only that, not everyone has 1K disposable income. And even if you did, should you drop that on this game? Probably not, right? Probably not. Even if you did, but not everyone does. So my issue is that this year, it's just, it's so out of control. It, bro, it's so out of control with the pay to win. I just can't believe it. Because I'm like, on Sunday, I'm using this five... Like, how many coins is that team? 10 mil? And I'm just like, bro, like, how is this fair to anyone? And I understand you got the double sword to it where like, you're like, oh, okay, well then it's actually worth it to upgrade my team to get to that point. It is for sure. But like, I don't know if it's just NA, man. I don't know if I'm going crazy in North America this year. Like, I don't know if there's... I don't know if this whole continent just decided they were going to drop like 5k on this game. But I swear, I'm not even in the Elite Division. I'm in Division 2, bro. I am facing Player of the Month Mbappe, Lucio, Ribery, every f game, man. I'm like... And, dude, it is like... It, I just... Oh, my God. I've already said it like 40 times, you guys. But, like, the difference in teams this year is insane when you got it. Like, I'm sure it's the same for everyone, bro. It just... But then it's like... It's just... It, dude, it's sadly genius from EA. Because then what? You have this and you're like, f man, I have to spend money. And you, you go spend money and you get the team. It's like, oh, it's so brutal, man.
like i don't i don't even know what to do chat i don't even know what to do bro because i'm like you know i always hear people like oh let's do a protest like let's do this like i'm a i i understand business well like i understand ea makes a lot of money and like from a business perspective like they do pretty well pr like they pretty much like buy out with money or benefits most of the creators in the community and then the, the papers to write good articles about them so like i don't really they've they, they've done a really good job to be honest masking just the worst smelling shit of all time like to be fair so it's like what do you do i i don't even know what you do man i'm not big enough bro to like do anything myself like i i don't even know where you go from here because the, the business model they have is just so successful it's getting to a point where like the direction this shit is going in for not only the gameplay but also the rtgs bro and like people that already drop a hundred dollars of their hard ass work and money on this game and then have to feel like they have to drop two more k to even survive bro it's like bro come on man not everyone's a twitch streamer out here dude i'm serious though i think it's hard from my perspective because i've played some fifas that actually made some logical sense bro this one makes no fucking sense this year dude and I'm like, too, like, I don't have, I, like, you guys understand me, like, I'm not just a guy who's like, oh, let's go stream another game, and I'm gonna go play another game, like, that's the thing that people, like, I think watch and understand about me, like, I just, I'm not really, like, a hardcore gamer, dude, like, I just wanna play FIFA, like, and I see Skill saying this shit all the time, too, like, he just wants to play FIFA, too, so that's where it's, like, really annoying, because, like, not everyone is like, oh, I, I, I wanna go stream all these games, or I wanna do this, like, I wanna play this shit, but I'm like, and i'll play other stuff but it's like i want this to be the game that like, i'm playing bro it's like so i don't know how to explain it like it's just because it's a football game do you know what i mean but there's no other football game that like does it i don't know man just god bless you guys for watching me dude i'm i i i feel really bad chat because i know i've been bitching like crazy this year and i know you guys are watching me and like you know it's like it's so whiny and shit man but like bro i don't know how to cope i don't even know how to co-playing this man i'm going crazy i was just worried though man even like playing last year like last year's game was not perfect and there was things i was really annoyed at last year but like i was so worried leaving that game last year because i was still playing it to the end and i was like man i just know i could count on ea to it up bro the one thing that's like really crazy to me that ea have really up recently hear me out on this chat like i feel like they have made the less stick dribbling the last two years so much worse which also like it that's the thing I'll never understand with these guys, man. I feel like every year that there's a new release, like, although last year there were parts of the skill gap I really liked, like, I feel like they've really, like, increased the defending and they just keep making that left stick worse every year. And then we're just getting to this point where, like, flip the coin, bro. Damn, man. So frustrating. It's a greater issue, man. Like, even the guy came back against earlier, right? Like, this is what we're dealing with this year. Every game is one goal. If someone has some team, it's going to be that much crazier. Like, I understand if you have Hullet R9, these guys, it's fine if it's, like, a little crazier to play. But the fact that it becomes, like, this whole other monster is crazy, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not even, like, about it being the worst FIFA, even though for me it is. Like, I'm not here to argue that with you. Just the general experience is so bad when you go right into the game. Like, I, I challenge most of you guys to play a half of this game without complaining. I think even if you tell yourself, I won't complain, I won't complain, you won't, you'll complain. And, like, I just feel like there's a huge difference with, like, last year and this year. Even if I just look at last year's game, like, I'd have that occasional game where I'd be losing my head. But, yo, this is a daily thing this year. Uh, uh, every game thing. It's, it's impossible, bro. And I think the worst part about it for most of you guys watching is, like, we've played FIFAs that actually made, like, 20% sense. So now that they've wiped that shit, we're going crazy. Because what we think about is, like, we're, like, resorting back to other mechanics. We're like, oh, fuck, I was scoring this goal for, like, two years. Now it's not working. Why? But they're, like, logical goals. I don't know, dude. I don't even know, bro. Nah, but the thing is, like, I know Inception's always saying, like, bad, good gameplay, all this stuff, right? I'm not even saying any of that right now, dude. Like, responsiveness, any of that, bro. I pay way too much money a month for this internet to be working for the stream and everything like i live close to a server i've got 10 ping and it has nothing to do with connection bro like nothing it has nothing bro to do with connection it's all the mechanics bro of the game that drive me crazy that's for me i know inception's always going crazy about the the dribbling right and the, the connection but like for me it's more like oh the sense of it the sense of the game is just like
like the common trend of the guys I lose to, what what the most of the guys I lose to, they go backwards before they go forwards. I, if you watch me, I'm pretty much sending it. And that's how FIFA was for a really long time. It was. It was genuinely, chat. It was probably until we got like probably until we got to like FIFA 20 and then new gen. I do like FIFA 20 like overall, but it started to get very drop back and side to side even around then. But oh my god, man, I was even making a rant video like two weeks ago, bro. If you watched that R9 Rye clip in FIFA 20 compared to now, bro, like dude, this guy was not even on a counter and there was three guys in a box, bro. It's like that's a huge frustration with all of it, too. Even if the finishing was as garbage as it is this year, dude, right? Even, bro, even if, if there was actually space everywhere, bro, you'd probably be able to cope with it. You could probably deal with it. Ah, oh, that's the thing. Like, there's all these variables going on. But this is why, bro, I like, I'm not saying I would never work with EA, but this is why I laugh in these guys' faces, man, every time they're trying to do something with me, bro. Trying to offer me money, trying to amend a relationship. Bro, I'm not f***ing amending f*** all with you guys, man, until you actually make a competent ass game, man. F hell, man. It's so shit. Bro, and they just making monsters. That's the thing. Yeah, you guys don't even realize you guys are making f***ing crazy monsters on this game, too. The way you got people in the community acting, dude, playing this game, I, it's like, it's like unfathomable what's happening, bro. I played some guy yesterday. His team name is Player Lock some shit, right? I mean, the guy player locks over 200 times in the game, bro. Like, what are we doing, bro? Make competent AI. What kind of fun experience is that, dude? It's terrible. It's like the amount of weirdos now you're playing because EA is breeding these weirdos, man, because they're making such a weird-ass game. Oh, it's disgusting, man. Like, they're player locking the right back to their center back. I'm like, okay, I understand the attacking AI is garbage. I know. Trust me, I know. And it's probably because they're forcing all these people for a 45k pack to tune up to this EA event so EA could just get their bag with their sponsors and watch that pathetic ass pro FIFA, which is, look, I understand it's like entertaining out of DDA and AIDS and all that, but imagine you're one of those pros. They're, they, bro, they're going through it. Like they're playing this game going through it in there, man. And I'm like... Oh my god, I don't even know how this game is being played as an esport this year. I haven't even really watched it, but I'm like, holy, bro. And that's why all these kids are like player locking. They're right back to their center back now because they're watching the pros, like not necessarily doing that. The pros are using a player lock for a purpose up top, which I get. But now we got all these people in this game thinking they're in pep, bro. They all think they're pep, man. Everyone thinks they're pep now. Like, I feel like I should go for a walk right now before I speak too much and get in trouble. But, like, you know something is also wrong when for three years in a row, the meta formation is the same meta formation. 4-3-2-1. 4-4-2. 4-2-3-1. Come back on defense on everyone. 5-2-1-2. 3-5-2. Like, there's no changes in the gameplay. You know what I mean? I've been running the same formations for three years, bro. I used to, yo, yo, couple years back, FIFA 20, FIFA, let's listen to this. FIFA 20, I played 4 one 2 and 2 narrow. Uh, 4 2 3 one 3 5 2. Bro, I put on a 3 1. What the f did I put on that weekend? I put a 3 4 1 2 on with eight players on get forward, and I went 29 and 1 and lost in pens in one game. You can't do something like that now. There's no f way you could do that. No way, bro. You could play some shit like that. You're gonna, I would go nine, I'd probably go 10 and 10 playing that way, man. It's a joke. Why? Because you gotta play like Simeone to get results on this game. You gotta go nice and slow. You gotta swing the ball side to side. It's just a joke, man. If you see where, that's the issue that I'm saying with a lot of you guys, you're probably like me too. Like, we've seen it in another spot, and that's why we go crazy playing this, because like, this isn't our first year playing this game. So I think the experience would be inc incredibly different if we just picked up FIFA for the first time this year. I'm like, FIFA 19, I played 3-5-2. I played 4-1-2 and 2 narrow. FIFA 18, I played like 4-1-2 and 2 narrow. Like standard 4-4-2, which, l l bro, in football, 4-4-2 and 4-3-3 are like literally, you know, 4-2-3-1. Like these are the most used formations. And now I, like, it's just, I'm just like, what's the solution, bro? Is there even a solution? Nah, right? Because, like, it's just a successful business. What can you do? Like, that's what I've learned. That's why, like, 
that's why like you guys see me a couple years ago losing my mind like with rants and stuff and i don't really do all that anymore because i just know like i've like bro accepted defeat but for real like i understand what people say like oh i'm being hypocritical and shit but like if you could just take a step away from like anything you think of me and just get objective about the game and what it is i think you'll really realize like why i'm getting so frustrated you'll be on the game tomorrow like nothing happened Bro, Doug, like, this is a daily event in here, bro. Not this level of a rant, but, like, me going crazy. Nah, for real, though. Like, you know, and I'm like, what can I do? What can I even do, bro? I don't know. I'm trying to just do all the normal stuff on this game, like, the the objectives and, like, the qualifiers and the rewards. Like, I'm just trying, bro. But, like, bro, I'm in deep water. I'm treading on minute three right now, bro. And I'm, and I'm, I'm hardly staying up here. Like, I just, I'm losing it, bro. But then I'm sitting here looking at the dates like, holy, it's December, bro. Like, this is going to be the this is gonna be the game till next October, dude. Oh, my God, man. And I'm like, okay, you could just chill on the menus, whatever. Like, but, you know, like, I think, chat, you guys get it. Like, you want to play the game, though, you know? There's always a meta that everyone uses. Last two years was step over acceleration. First year was time finishing outside a box. First year was drag back. No, oh, dude, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know there's always something, right? In COD, there's always a gun. This is what I would say to you. I just feel like they've made it so... First of all, two, 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 two like additional things to that to just like break that one down. I think the meta is so much worse than metas we've had. So much worse. And then I think they've made it so only that meta is possible. Do you know what I mean? Like... This game with the cutbacks and the run, not the cutbacks, the run to the byline. It's not the cutbacks. It's like the, it's like to that hot spot, right? What it reminds me of is, of is FIFA 19. And what I mean by that, in FIFA 20, you could drag back and really shoot to either post. Near post was really good. You could scoop turn. You had way more space in the box. Left stick was a move. I think what FIFA 21, I hated that game, but you had like the directional, the bridge, you had croquetta cancel, way more skilling was effective. Um, I don't even really remember. FIFA 22 was like, what was that? That was like the year of like, um, entirety of like shot cancels, right? So I think it's similar to FIFA 19 because FIFA 19 was the most, the second most illogical FIFA ever because it was more effective to first time no scope outside the box than shoot a normal shot at a good angle in the box. If anybody remembers it. So that's why this game, like it does remind me of 19 a bit because there's one thing that's so much more overpowered than everything else. Like, that's what's also driving me crazy. That's where I compare it, but I just think it's a very bleak meta, this one. Like, but I'm like, Chad, dude, also, like, just to give you a prime example of maybe what's happening is that this is, like, just the changing of the tide. How many people you know stop playing this game? I can't even tell you, like, all my IRLs I know told me they hate this game. They don't even touch it, bro. They bought it. They, they're like, this shit is trash. Like, no one's playing it, right? So I think we just got this like thing where it's just going to flush out a lot of guys that were playing for a while. Like they just like done. And now he's got this new like thing of people coming in. Right. They just don't even know better. I don't know, dude. I'm genuinely like, like I, I understand like for me personally, like we have a great community and everything. And like, I know I'm entertaining. I'm genuinely, I've been shocked recently to be fair chat. Like right now we got 8,000 viewers. I've been shocked the amount of you guys that come in here and watch me play this game. Like, honestly, shocked. So, God bless you guys, man. I've been shocked for how bad this game is, dude. I don't know why you guys watch this every day, but fair enough, man. Like, I understand you guys probably enjoy the stream, but like, holy, man. I'm like, I don't even know how you guys are like dealing with me watching playing this game bro i don't even know the real question is yeah that's the thing like i'm just looking after myself i'm like i don't even know how i'm gonna do this shit for nine months dude nine months how many days is that 270 days at eafc 24 remaining holy zway sounds like a skill issue zway i know zway i'm not trying to cook you bro i don't want you to think i'm cooking you man like i to honestly what i said was a compliment bro because I said you get 14 wins. Your chat tries to cook you and say you don't. You get 11 wins. I gave you that. I said Zway gets 14 wins. That's a compliment. Who's got the one meme, bro? This is how I feel right now. This is this is the best one out there, bro. That's me every day when I play this game, dude. Every day, man.